Hey, I'm Spectre Ball. I am a gothic musician and also an occultist. In this video, we're going to be talking about contacting angels. Yes, contacting angels. But before we do that, consider subscribing to my channel, click on that notification bell to be alerted when a new video is available, and please click on that like button. Anyway, so contacting angels. You want to contact an angel. You've never done it before. How do you do it? The good way to start is try to put yourself in a state of meditation. Sit in the silent room and relax. Also, try to get a picture of the sigil or angel that you're trying to reach. And start to meditate on that sigil. Eventually, the angel might come. Now, it might be in the room and you might not notice because sometimes when we're not in a state that we should be in, we might not feel everything around us. We're not as sensitive, but it depends on the magician. Now, I feel that there is no difference in calling a demon or an angel. It's just a different type of energy. When calling an angel, the energy is very light. The energy feels like you are walking on clouds. You're very, very ungrounded. When calling a demon, you feel very pulled to the ground. Everything feels very Saturn-like in a way that everything is very heavy. But I do feel that it's good to work with both angels and demons. Now, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy talking to demons much more than I enjoy talking to angels, but that's me and my personality. You might be very different but it's good to find a balance between both. If you keep talking to demons all the time, what tends to happen is that everything becomes very heavy. Everything starts to pull you down. When talking to angels, you could also be ungrounded to the point that you are somewhat of a vegetable. You really don't know what's going on. So it's better to try to keep a balance between both. I worked with Solomonic Pentacles. I would take a Solomonic Pentacle of a spirit that I'm trying to call, put it on some incense, and in my other hand, recite Psalms from the Torah or Bible to try to bring this energy into the Pentacle. And the angel would appear. Of course, it would appear in my head. Same thing, same thing as if I was calling a Goetic spirit and I would talk to the angel. There's many that think that angels are good and demons are bad. Well, that's the most nonsense that I've ever heard. We as human beings, unfortunately, were brought up that angels are good and demons are bad. Thankfully, we could look into it, we could study it, and make the determination ourselves. What can you get out of talking to an angel? Many things, knowledge, wisdom, same things. Same thing as if you would contact a demon. So really, it's just different energies, different things to speak to, different knowledge to gain. Now, when contacting an angel, I do suggest making a circle. You don't know how this angel is going to react. And the circle, as I said in my previous video, that I will link up here on how to protect yourself, you put the circle down, you can use salt. Also, one viewer suggested using yarn. That's beautiful, I think that's amazing, and it doesn't make a mess. When you put down the circle, then you have some focus when you are doing your magic, and you call the angel. So, the angel came, you spoke to the angel, now you want to close the ritual. All you do is you ask the angel to depart, you thank the angel, and now you could step out of the circle. There is no reason to try to close the circle or do anything different to the circle. No, just, just, just ask the angel to depart, thank it, and be done with the ritual. I enjoyed speaking to angels when I first started doing magic. Of course, the more I did magic, I wanted to start talking to demons. But what the hilarious part was is that when I was talking to the Archangel Michael, he told me that I should start doing the Goetia. So, there is no war 
against angels and demons and all this and all this nonsense. Anyway, this is a pretty short video. I just wanted to, you know, throw it out there. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.